Yep. So what's going on, man? We're going to get into this conversation really quick. Shout out to everybody that's out there, man. You know what I mean? Got five people in the building so far. Just want to talk about this real quick, man. What's going on, low key? So let's jump right in it, man. Um, you know, you know, I know a lot of people. Yeah, I know that by now. So the what I want to talk to the talk about today is um two week notices, man. Is it necessary for us to give two week notices when leaving a job? And the reason I'm asking that because somebody I know that worked for Cisco turned his two week notice last night or yesterday. And immediately, Cisco, um, they asked him to leave. They said they don't want that. You, you can go. They told him he can go. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, <clears throat> if companies are not going to respect our two-week notices, then what is the point for us to um, do it the right way? Sometimes we know a lot of drivers that want to leave a job and... Everybody tell them, hey, make sure you put in your two weeks. Make sure you put in your two weeks. But since day one, I've been talking about unqualified, untrained, lame, unprofessional managers that's messing up these big-time companies like Cisco, U.S. Food, DFS, all the big companies, you name it, like... It's not the company. Cisco is the biggest food service company out there. It's not the company. They've been doing it right for a long time. It's not the company. It's these unqualified, overeducated. <laughs> I had to make sure I say overeducated because sometimes people, they come in and talk about, yeah, I went to this and that and this and that. A lot of these people don't got the street mentality. They don't have the mentality. They don't have the capability of dealing with a human being. They don't think before they do things. And these are the type of things that's messing up your company. Whoever out there listening, whatever company you're running, people skills, man. A lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of management, a lot of people that's in the leadership team, they don't have the people skills no more. They're allowing machines and computer to run things. They're allowing analytics to, to, to let people go. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if they run analytics at their own house. You know what I mean? Some of these managers, they could be at home. The wife probably want to get cozy. They probably look at the computer. Oh, the analytics said um, not tonight. They're not too bright. You know what I'm saying? So... We got to get more managers. We got to promote more from within. We got to we got to promote more drivers to become supervisors. We got to promote more drivers in leadership cuz we know what it takes. You get what I'm saying? And what goes around comes around. Now, point I'm trying to get at If I'm a manager and somebody turned their 2 week notice to me, to me, that tells me that they're trying to do it the right way. So, I can get mad if I want to. They're doing the right thing. So, I'm going to honor that particular driver two week notice. You get know what I'm saying? Will I be mad? It's human nature to be losing. You don't want to lose a good driver, right? Of course, I'll be upset. But I'm not going to be unprofessional and show it. You know what I'm saying? And that goes to drivers, too. You always hear them say, don't burn your bridges, right? Of course, I still think you guys need to turn your two-week notice whenever you're leaving a job. And let me know what you guys think, man. Um, you put in the comment below. Feel free to be going back and forth. Time and time again, I remember when I was at U.S. Food, and you have drivers that put in their two-week notice. Sometimes the... Um, the company, whoever is in, whoever is the leader at the time, particular time, they'll get upset and they'll walk that driver through the door. You know what I'm saying? Upset because the driver is doing the right thing. 
But whenever a driver quit, whenever a driver just quit on the spot, whenever a driver leave the um, tractor trailer behind Joe Blow's restaurant, you hear a whole bunch of talk, oh, he didn't even do the right thing, he ain't put in the notice or this and that, but when is it gonna, when, is it supposed to start at the top? Let me know, man, let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Because drivers gonna, they're not gonna, Sooner or later, nobody gonna put in no two week notice no more, cause nobody respects it. You know what I mean? So, and look, low key Willie say it happened at his DC. So obviously, obviously it's going on everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've always been the type. I always been the type. You said why did he put in his two week notice? You're a step. He put in his two week notice because he's actually doing the right thing. He's moving on to a different company. Whenever you put in your two week notice, that is one thing that um, a management can't come at you and like drill you while you leaving or this and this and that. You just gotta respect it. You know what I'm saying? He could put his two week notice and go sit on the couch. It doesn't matter why he put in his two week notice. But to answer you, answer your question, he put in his two-week notice because he decided that he's going to try a different company for a better opportunity. Let me be honest with you. <laughs> Let me be honest with you, man. He put in his two-week notice. I, I ain't, never mind. I, that ain't my business. I, it's not my business to share where he's going. But that's not even the point. The point is that the particular driver did the right thing and I feel bad I feel bad that um us drivers we keep going through this time and time again nobody speaks about it nobody never speaks about it like they talk bad about you whenever you just quit but we we try to do the right thing we try to do the <laughs> we try to do the right thing and um Say, as long as they pay out his remaining time, yeah, as long as they do that, then I guess everything will be all right. You know what I mean? You say, go in. Nah, it ain't my business to say where he's going to work at, man. But he, he's going to, he's, he's in good hands. That's all I got to say. You know what I mean? And um, just know this, man. Um, drivers are always looking for better. Um, Drivers is always, it's not like back in the days where drivers stay with one company for 20, 30, 40 years or whatever. Drivers is always looking. Um, you know what I'm saying? And these smaller companies and food service, drivers are making really good money with some of these companies. Don't underestimate the, the, the GFSs, the, 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 the Cheney brothers. Um, the, you know what I'm saying? The, the, it's not just the big company. It's not just U.S. Food and Cisco no more. Other companies are paying. You know what I'm saying? Um, Billy Dollars um, saying, could I put up with a 16-hour shift? I, I really don't like to. Um, I don't like long shifts like that. And whenever you work a 16-hour day, um, it just wears you out, man. You know, it makes you feel like you don't even, you don't even want to work the next day. That's the way I be feeling whenever I put in a long shift like that. You feel me? Oh man, y'all hold up. I got somebody at my door. I got to cuss out. Hold on.
Yeah, my bad, my bad, yo. Somebody um at my front door trying to sell solar power. You know how it is. I understand their hustle, man. Um, it's all good, man. Everybody got to make money. Hey, bro, I did a phone interview with Cisco a week ago. Haven't heard back from them. I still do do a road test. What do you think? Will they hire me? Man, if I was you, I'd give them a call. I appreciate that, Togo. Yeah, I don't like 16-hour shift, man. I, I, nah. Samuel, I say Cisco getting money. That's what's up. Cisco Los Angeles in the building. What's going on, man? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, they trying to they over there trying to sell solar power, man. But I I don't mean to get off subject for a second, but I am going to um I am going to eventually get um some solar panels set up, but not not this minute, not right now, but it is something to look into, but I'm not I'm not I'm not just going to get any solar panel panel from anybody just come knocking at the door and stuff like that. I ain't gonna do that. You know what I mean? I gotta seek it out on my own and stuff like that. But let's get back to the subject, guys. Um, before we get off subject for a minute. Um, so what you guys think, man? Um, is two we notice a thing of the past? Um, is two we notice is overrated? Um, should we go to one week? Uh. Should we not use a two-week notice at all? Um, should drivers just bring back the truck? Like, how do they want drivers to leave a job? Um, would they rather us, like, go to our first stop and do the stop and just leave the truck there? Um, would they want us to just um, be scheduled to come to work and just not show up? Or how would they want it? How do how do these companies want us to leave these jobs now these days? And I mean because here we have a, a driver that did the right thing and he would walk out the door. Stuff when I hear stories like this, it, and it's not even that I heard stories like this. This is actually a friend of mine's. This is the only reason I'm doing this live because this is actually a friend of mine's. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like this is some random story. This is actually somebody I know. You know what I'm saying? Dre Wilder say two week notice is overrated, especially in truck. I can agree with that. Um, Arm Rebellion say two week notice is a thing of the past. Companies get emotional nowadays. You're right about that. Companies do get emotional, man, and that's that goes back to the um the point that I made earlier. That um to me, that all got to do with management, man. Um, some of these guys, their um their mental is not right, and yet still they're the one that's leading the ship. You know what I mean? They're the one that's um keeping the boat afloat. Um, they're the one that's um herding the herd. They're the one that's flying the plane. So, so if you got if you got a weak person in, in, in mentally, 
that's leading the crew, how you think the crew gonna be? You know what I'm saying? How you think the crew gonna be? That's just like um, that's just like Tampa Bay um trading Tom Brady for Dak Prescott. How you think we gonna be? We probably will be lucky if we win two games. You know what I mean? That that'd be the worst mistake we could ever do. We gotta have a strong leader, which is Tom Brady, to lead our team back to victory lane. So I think I think um it goes back to these companies, man, that they just gotta get it right on who they decide to be in leadership. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they yeah, the man put in his two week notice for a reason, so it ain't like it's gonna hurt him. You feel me? <laughs> hey, you ain't lying. You is not lying. <laughs> That's a good point right there, man. <laughs> That's a good point. Let's touch on that for a second, man. Have you ever heard a company come to you and be like, you know what? We gonna fire you in two weeks. This is your time to look for a job. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We got Joe Dew in the building. What's going on, man? Oh, that's good money right there. Hey, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Every chance I get, and every, every little chance I get to pick on the Cowboys, I'm going to pick on the Cowboys. That's just what I do, man. They do it to themselves, man. I need... I need that... I need that 2000 to 2500 a week, though. It's... It's out here now, man. Um... One thing I tell you about food service, honestly, is that believe that the majority of everybody's making money nowadays. It's not like it's not like back in the days where you can pinpoint a company and you can be like, you know what, if you go there you ain't gonna be making no money. In my circle, most of the guys I talk to work for Cisco, um, work for PFG, um McLean. I don't talk. I don't know no DFS driver down here that I talk to on the often. Everybody making money. We make money differently, meaning that some guys they got to work longer hours. Some guys they got to push more cases, but the common denominator is that everybody making money. Everybody is making money. So. It don't even, it don't even, I can't even put a company out there no more and say, you know what, stay away from that company because they don't pay. The only thing I can say is that that particular company, you got to push too much cases and make money. And um, <laughs> we got OTR driver in the building, man. It's like, man, y'all the boys don't make no money. <laughs> You just started at Reinhardt, PFG in Iowa. Can't get around a couple of weeks. They give notice. I went to Cisco. <laughs> hey, you know what? Um, think about that. If you work for a company and it takes you a long time to get a route, that's actually, when you really think about that, that's actually a sign that um, that particular um, company is, is the particular area that you're working at is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It's not good for you because it's going to take a long time for you to get a ride. But when you really stop and start to think about it, guys are not leaving as um, as often as the average food service company. So that's actually not a bad sign, man. So if I was you, I know it's rough when you just 
jumping around from route to route, but if I was you, I'd just hang in there. You know what I mean? DA say, man, I work for PFD running a team, and I work 182 hours every two weeks. That's a lot of hours, man. Um, yeah, that's a lot of hours. We got Cody in the building. My Cisco is hurting so bad that they are offering three dollars more an hour if you don't call. It. <laughs> hey, I need to take a picture of that, man. I need to. I need to bring this up. I need to bring this up in our transportation meeting, man. We need some money too, goddammit. it. So if we if you don't call in, that's an extra three dollars an hour. Good lord. I'm making um thirty five hundred a week at PFG at Rock Hill. I believe it, man. Um, everybody making money now, man. It's like it, it's not like you never hear me do a video and say, you know what, that company don't make no money, or that company. Everybody is making money now, so that's why I try to push on my channel to. If you want to get in food service, go to the company that's closest to your house, yo, and make it work for you. You know what I mean? I'm working two 16-hour days out of the week and 12 hours a day, seven days on, two days off. Seven days on, two days off. Seven days off, three days. Damn, how they got you working? Oh, three months. I don't know, man. Let me make a phone call real quick. Three months. Let me call my connect real quick. Hey, quick question. You guys hired three months experience? Oh yeah? Okay. I'm I'm gonna get the driver. I'm gonna get the driver number and have him reach out to you. Alright, bro. Huh? Um I ain't asked him his age. Uh I'll do that. Yep, you good. They dropped me email, and we'll get you on the Cisco team. You see that? You guys see that? See how easy that is? But that's not Cisco everywhere. I can't do that Cisco everywhere. Just only Orlando I can do that. Only Okoye. I mean, so just um, yeah, um, Billy, man, hey, Billy, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I meet more drivers. I meet more drivers. I all right, put it like this. I meet more drivers that work for Cisco. That said, um, they got into the food service game because of me than any other company, yo. Any other company. So it's like when it comes to like company bias, like my name is not even like close to that word. You know what I mean? I just because like I say, man, I really believe in I really believe in helping people, and if I know people, I'm gonna help people. You know what I mean? Because different situation, different situation. Everybody can't work at Cheney. Everybody can't work at U.S. Food. Everybody can't work at PLG. Everybody can't agree. So we all got to work different places. Alabama in the building. You ain't lying, man. 
Yeah, not lying. Oh, they're going to blame. What about food service job? Food service jobs in Baton Rouge? Man, I ain't got I ain't got no plugs in Baton Rouge. This this what I this what this what this what need to happen though. I'm gonna tell you what need to happen, right? Anybody out there that listened to this video, it doesn't matter what company you um you work for, like just reach out to me if you some type of hiring manager or whatever or supervisor or whatever, just reach out to me. Email me your location. And um, whenever I drive, I have a driver in that particular area that's looking for a job, I just make the connection. Feel me? Yeah, those um, those jobs are really easy, man. Um, I actually did that before. Those jobs are really easy. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, the only bad thing about that is whenever it like rains and stuff like that it, it got a lot of slow down slow down to it you know what i mean that's the only bad thing about that and a lot of times they got like big jobs going on big pours like you got to be up like 10 11 o'clock at night because whenever they got like whatever you're doing like concrete mixing whenever they let's just say they got a big job to do downtown you're not going to be doing that six in the morning they're going to want to start that at 11 p.m so they can do it all night so the cement can take time to settle especially during the day so the hours with um mixer drivers tend to be unsteady you get what i'm saying but it's really easy job you know and it's a, it's it's really a class B job because um you know I think it's a class B I'm not sure somebody correct me if I'm wrong because I know they don't have no I know I think you can have a class B you know what I mean I'm not I'm not 100% sure but I know you're not driving a combination vehicle Leon International Builder what's going on man. Oh, you still looking for that last box? Omar Rivas, what's going on, man? Been a while since I've been live, man. I appreciate y'all for checking in. Um, As a food service driver, all right, you can do me a favor. Tell me what state you're located in. As a food service driver, if you're willing to work in Florida, if you're in Florida, you should be um, expected to make within $1,800 to $2,400 a week. Nothing less than that. Um, making less than $1,800 is a thing of a pass in Florida. Um, too much work out here. It's too competitive. It's too much companies out here that's paying. So if you're with a company, and you're not making no money. I'm talking about Florida now, cause I know, I know, I know Florida. I know. Um, see, I don't really know too much about the Baton Rouge area, but I know Florida is busy as hell, man. And I can, I can just imagine um, Baton Rouge being busy too, because isn't that some type of? Don't a lot of tourists visit that area? Do you guys have a lot of restaurants? You guys have a lot of like vacation spots. Um, whenever you like it in a busy area, you should expect to make a lot of money. Ah <laughs> uh, man, why are guys scared to haul fuel, man? There's nothing wrong with fuel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bitch of JT say, yo, this is my last day in, in um, food service. I'm out douche. Hey man. Good luck, whatever you decide to do, man. Sometimes we gotta um keep it moving, man, cause it's a tough job, man. This job is not for everybody. You know what I mean? Um, just wherever you decide to go, man, just be easy. Mm. 
really that's strange man because a lot of companies looking for drivers right now so it's strange that um somebody would say that to you but there's a lot of other companies out there man I look in at getting the um fuel hauling too yeah fuel hauling is laid back and it is d easy and um it's it's station manager right like if you want to work over here he'll tell you to put in your two week notice you know what that is that's respect a lot of people ain't like that a lot of people is not like that he always mentioned in two week notes I would I heard I hear this over and over again yo. you know what I mean some some places you go and you try to get a job and you give me an application and they do the interview and they look at you can you start next week and you're thinking to yourself, I'm like, so this manager here, he want me to start working here next week. So what happened to my old job? You want me to just quit? Unfortunately, these are the type of, these are the mentality that managers have these days. So in other words, I'm gonna put one word. I'm gonna use one word to wrap it up. I'm gonna use one word to wrap this up, right? And this might mess up my monetization of this live. But as truck drivers, we're fucked. If these are the type of leaders we have, we we are screwed. That's all I gotta say about that i appreciate y'all for watching um next time i come up with a topic i'm gonna go back live so y'all um if y'all not subscribed to the channel subscribe hit the notification bell and i keep you notified whenever i drop a new video or whenever i choose to go live i appreciate everybody for tuning in today um y'all be easy man